these brows are a little bit thicker than it looks. She clearly has thin brows when you see the darker strip of the brow line, but I'm gonna bring them out a little bit more by properly shaping the brows down below and of course properly applying some color right over those sparse light eyebrows. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if this is your eyebrows where you clearly do have them, but they're really thin and you need to go a little bit lower, this is your brow video. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do that. Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, your brow expert. Thank you so much for joining me. This brow video is going lower, whereas last week was going higher. It's a very simple, quick tip. Most of us have brows. Well, most of us have a thinner uh, brow line, especially when you're maturing like myself. So just adding a little bit of highlighter and color will make the world, world of difference. And I'm here to show you that. Because I've been shaping eyebrows for over 25 years at the Anastasia Beverly Hills Salon, which, by the way, I'm still there shaping brows. Thank you so much for joining me and trusting me with your eyebrows. So it's been a pleasure meeting you, giving you your best brows. So definitely stop by if you can. It's a quick tip today. It's not going to be a long one, but it's enough to where I think you're going to pick some tips up. If you have a scar also on your eyebrow, this might be um, something that you want to see and how to hide that. But without further ado, let's bring in the model. So the brows are beautifully shaped and you if you look hard enough you can see some strays down below now the white outline is where um, I left most of the hair now she did have hair underneath that white outline but it was just really sparse not much there and when you properly take some of those hairs off the ones that are left behind looks thicker and that's something to consider when you're shaping your eyebrows or going to someone an expert like myself. So um, on this mod, I'm going to use a brow with soft brown. So if you have hair coloring where you you have kind of a, a medium to a, a brown, blonde color, there's a little bit of strawberry there, a little warmth. Soft brown is a great color to use. Even if you have like, say, red hair or you've dyed your hair a little bit on the redder side, but you have more of a, a taupey brown, soft brown, again, is a great color for you. On myself, I'm going to use the ash brown or medium brown can also work uh, if you don't want it to be red at all. And if you want it really light, then do like a taupe or blonde. Blonde is our lightest color. So you notice that I'm applying the uh, pencil right over at the edge first. She doesn't need obviously that much at the edge, <laughs> clearly, because she's got that darker uh, edge brow and it's just a natural lift. But I always like to put a little bit of pencil just right up there just to get that polished look. It's optional. You notice that I'm holding the pencil sideways when, I going, when I'm going up in the front. Reason being is that when you do the sideways, you really apply less pressure and you get it just right where you want it to with a little bit of strokes without going back and forth like a windshield wiper. But down below here, do you notice that I'm going a little bit lower, right at the middle? But you know, I'm purposely going lower, lower than in your uh, dark brow line, but I actually have hair or she has hair. I have a tiny bit, but you know, my brows are tattooed a long time ago, so it's kind of there. But if you just go a little bit lower here, it really adds that fullness. Again, right over here, scratches. Now, it looks like I'm going head on, but I'm actually laying the pencil this way. So you notice that I'm kind of going this way. I'm holding it this way. So it's all about sideways. And above, I'm actually obviously behind her. I'm going this way. But on you, you're going right at the edge. By holding the pencil, laying it down, you're keeping the roundness of the pencil. Right on this eyebrow, she actually has a scar, and I'll show you that again towards the end. But um, you wanna just kinda treat the scar like it's not there. Just go over it, right? Um, now I'm gonna use the highlighter. The dual, pen, dual highlighter is a great highlighter because it has a matte side, which I'm using right now. And the other side actually has a, a shiny, uh, frosty kind of color. But you know what? I love the shiny, even on mature skin, I think it gives it a little bit more of a dewy look. But the matte side is great because if you go above and below the eyebrows, as you can see right here, it really comes to life, right? Y your brows look darker. <laughs> And I didn't put that, I didn't put any color. I did a little bit down below, right? Um, but there wasn't a lot of effort in putting that much uh, color. And so if, you, if you're nervous about putting too much, just scratch a tiny bit underneath, right? And then really shape your eyebrows with this highlighter by going below here and then by going above. Now on myself, 
I'm just gonna put it right here so you could maybe see a difference. But on myself, because my skin's obviously darker than this model, I can go a little bit lighter, like a concealer or my favorite foundation, and go around the eyebrows, especially if you're on the drier side. But a highlighter is perfectly fine, especially this one, because there is some moisture in it. So it's creamy. So it just glides really nicely. And um, speaking of creamy, I'm going to talk something about creamy brows in just a second. So you want to stick around for that. So the brush 18 obviously is perfect because it just really gets it in, in there. This actually finishes the shape. So that's why I find this brush to be very important because even if you feel like, oh, the, the highlight is a little wonky, it's not perfect. This is what's going to finish the shape, make it even that much perfect. Okay, so I, you know, the, think of this as, of course, a racer in a brush. <laughs> but you're taking off just enough and leaving what you want behind. So as you can see, you can always go back and fill in some gaps here and there. This is the brow that I was talking to you about that has that scar. And again, I'll show you that in just a second. But, you know, at this point, you don't have to, but it's always good to just kind of go back and forth. Never want to do the whole brow, one brow only, and then you're stuck with fixing it with the other side. So you want to go back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So that way it's a little bit more balanced even. So that's important, right? So like I said, the highlight is important, but you know what? The brow gel, I use the clear brow gel here. Now you can use the clear brow gel and it just really does the job. Sometimes if you feel like your brows are on the sparse side, hers is actually thick. So this, the clear brow gel works beautifully. It, as you can see, uh, it looks like she's even got more hair. And did you notice that underneath the, that dark line, it has it's a little bit more um, hairs that come to life because the brow gel gets the hairs a little fuller. Now, you can use a brow freeze gel, which we um, encourage to use. If you have sparse, very fine hair, if you put this on, it really kicks the hair up. Especially also if you have, if you have thick brows, but they're real stubborn, this will really keep the hair up. The reason why you like it up is it adds fullness. Okay, so beautiful before and after. And, and see that mark, the white outline? That's with the scar right over there. The reason I'm pointing that out is because the skin also deviates, like it kind of goes in. So you really want to focus in just putting that color, put a little bit of pressure in that area. It's harder to pick up color when there's scar there. Here's the other thing I, would, I want to stress that I didn't say earlier is that uh, when you're using pencil, even powder for that matter, your brows right here, you want to make sure that you uh, spoolie off a lot of the creams, the face creams, the foundations. So definitely spoolie that. Use even a Q-tip if you have to over your brow area, okay? So that way there is no creamy stickiness to it because then it's harder for the products to to adhere, to stick on, right? So what did you think? Did you feel like this video has helped you? Do you feel like, do you feel more confident, right? Because you know, like I said, the theme is now about putting a little effort and um, making it look like you put a lot of effort, right? Because really a little goes a long way and it's always very uh, important to be mindful of how much pressure you're, you're applying when you're holding the pencils or the brush. I mean, it's really about just light tension and the strokes, really. So that way it's it's not so heavy on, it's about get, getting the biggest impact with the small little area, right? Very expressive area, right? And so thank you so much for joining me with this video. Give me a like if you like this video definitely subscribe. I did put all the um, products in the descriptions, but I also have tagged them. So if you quickly tap the screen, you can quickly purchase that product, which helps me. But the comments helps, um, constructive criticism helps, everything helps in making these videos better for all of you. So, and again, if you haven't, uh, if you want to go a little higher, that, that was the last week video, this one's going a little lower. And so, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, before I let you guys go, real quickly, I'm using the Blurring bl Blush Serum, the cream blush. Uh, it's called Guava. So if you're wondering, she doesn't have much makeup on today. I have a little bit of this rosy color, which I love. You can put some on your lips. This is a really good color for my skin tone, maybe a little bit lighter. If you're a little bit darker, you can mix it with plum. So there's great choices of colors. So I highly recommend you guys to try this out. All the products, again, will be in the description, so don't worry about that. And I will see you guys next week.